is happening people this is Jamazuke coming at you with a review of the new Inform 81 rated Callum Wilson as you can see in the background I packed in myself accidentally I went to do a Premier League premium SBC did the non-premium one Pat Wilson anyway so it all worked out happy days I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions played him exclusively in the weekend league I was going through my games I was going through a rough patch make sure to like and sub if you enjoy the video that's it, that's the plug out of the way, let's get started. Now I'd say that Wilson is probably one of the most undesirable strikers in the 10th team of the week. It's not his fault, it's still out of buy or who nobody wants but everybody seems to be packing. I packed him twice already myself. I was actually quite surprised with his overall output, I've tried the normal 75 or 76 gold inform card and it's nothing special. I was actually using an EPL team for the weekend league with Rashford and Martial playing up front. Oh, cheeky rage quit. So I swapped out Martial for Wilson and he just started bagging in goals left, right and centre. I usually, I, I tend to do skills a bit too much. So I wasn't sure what to expect from a striker with Deddy three-star text, but it meant I could focus on the game, focus on key passes and movement, using the trigger dribbling and Wilson didn't let me down. His pace is definitely an attractive stat. He is absolutely burners as you'd expect. He's reasonably fast whilst he's on the ball. He's no Messi or Salah, but as you can see here, he's quick enough to get away. Decent pass in the end. So he's fast, but there are tons of pacey strikers in the Premier League. You get Musa for a couple of K. So what makes Wilson so special, aside from being a black card? I'd say the thing that sets him apart is his finishing. He's noticeably much more prolific than Rashford, who ironically just scored in the background. I like Rashford, I think he's text, but 9 times out of 10 in a one-on-one, -on -one, as you see there, post, he gets a chip in. But I'm sure that Wilson would have finished it off easily, and if anything, it was a lucky goal, to be honest. So when it's Rashford passing to Wilson... <laughs> well, doesn't finish all of them, but he gets the job done. And honestly, over the 15 or so games I played, Wilson was the man I was looking to pass it to, because I knew he'd finish. As you can see from the past couple of videos, another great stat he has is really good passing. I was actually surprised by the ability that he has, because... Alright, he's not Fabregas, but seriously... In general, when you aim the pass correctly, he's great at assisting. Come on, assist. Cheers, mate. Yeah, he's great at assisting. And if you get him to the byline, you can set him to run out wide. I didn't do that personally, but he tends to do that for me. Oh, he also takes a banging penalty. And he has great close control. I trust him with the ball. I trust him to run with the ball. Not as technical a dribbler as Rashford, for example. Or Martial, Son. Any of the typical EPL sweat lords. But he's a good alternative. I'd highly recommend him. If you're looking for just a tech as player. This one of the few square cross passes that actually worked. And that's what I mean by... Wilson one on one. It was a 92 Schmeichel team for the legends. Actually came back and yeah, pretty much down to Wilson's clutch goal here. Considering he's only going for roughly 25-30k, I'd say grab him whilst you still can, whilst over Monday. Ensure that prices stay low. Obviously I'm a little bit biased considering how he did for me in the weekend league. I guess my only real regret is that I didn't pick him up sooner. I finished with 23 wins and one game remaining. And I'm sure I could have got gold one, potentially elite, if I'd given him a try on Thursday night, for example. But instead I packed out of my all. So, yeah, great. So, yeah, that's basically it from me. You've got the gist of it. I'd highly advise you try him out. He's good enough for the weekend league, and he dragged me to a few wins on his own, for sure. And if you pick him up in the 81 team of the week untradeable SBC I'd say give him a whirl 
don't stick him back in the tradable one. He's definitely worth keeping and trying out, especially if you run a Premier League team. So, yeah, that's about it for me. I'm going to round up here. Thanks for watching, guys. Much appreciated. Once again, make sure to sub or like or leave a comment if you enjoyed the video or if you have any thoughts. Try them out and let me know what you think.